Okay then folks, you might be wondering about the title. Well, after the last video with the uh, R10 in 2.2, uh, which belonged to Cliff Kirkman, I did the uh, tests on it, which you saw the results. And when I gave Cliff the rifle back, he was uh, good enough to say, oh, would you like to do a review on my caliber cricket? So I says, yeah, brilliant, love to. So what I've got with me today is the caliber gun cricket. Uh, it did come with the ATN 5x20 4K Pro Sight. Really nice uh, sight. Got to get used to this yet. Uh, first test I'll probably do with my own scope, and then we'll do some some work with the ATN to see how it goes. But uh, done a bit of shooting with it so far, and it's really sweet rifle to shoot. Really good. I mean, this this will compete with any of the top end rifles for accuracy. I'm talking Day State, FX, Steyr. Uh, small little ball pull. Uh Very nice and easy to handle. Uh, <clears throat> the cheap piece on it, really nice as well. That just clips on the top. It says you're getting all cold, but it's made out of some kind of rubber rubberized material but that's that's nice uh, nice uh, little shooting rifle nice trigger which is adjustable I believe you've got to take the stock off to adjust it it's two stage adjustable uh, magazines you can have four magazines on this one and the storage system is on the side that's what these are uh, the downside to this one I will give it a full 10 out of 10 if that the cocking level is down there but because it shoots as well as it does I'll actually forgive it and give it a 9 out of 10 so uh, you can cock it by using your left hand doing it that way other than that it means taking your hand off the trigger and going back there but you do get used to it because it, it's uh, so accurate you don't really mind <laughs> I mean it's really accurate it's got a Picatinny rail on the top for mounting your scope it's got a pick rail on the bottom as you can see I've got my bipod on that one uh, but yeah all in all very nice rifle uh, you can fill this one to 300 bar so you're gonna get plenty of shots uh, I find about 56 shots through it and out of that it's only lost about 60 bar so on a 300 bar fill i would expect to get between 200 and 220 shots just in 177 i've not seen a shot count for it but based on that those figures you would uh around a, a one bar a shot uh down to 100 bar you're going to get 200 shots uh, i'm not sure what the regs set at but uh I would imagine around 100 or maybe 90, so you get, you're going to get 200 to 210 shots anyway. Then it'll start dropping off. But very nice rifle. Uh, I'll just go over some of the parts now, like the cock in it. Uh, fairly easy to cock. You pull back on the, on the cocking lever at the back, and you'll see a little bolt just in front of it. You pull that up and all the way to the back to get your magazine out so you can load your magazine uh, as you see in this one it's a 177 you can load uh, 14 shots into 177 so plenty of shot count uh, so when you've done that you can load the magazine back in with the cogs facing backwards and uh, basically when you do that you lift the bolt up push it all the way to the front and it will fire the magazine rota will rotate now there's a little slot behind the first firing point if you go that and slot it into that the magazine will not rotate so it's got to be all the way up to the forward slot to rotate so uh, that is basically cocking and loading the magazine as I've said on the side of the rifle there are four little uh, magazine holders where you can store your magazines so 
you've got 56 shot in one out in there so if you're hunting you've got plenty of shots for the day uh, say 300 bar fill the silencer works really well it's a shrouded moderator I'm not sure if you can uh, I suppose you could get an adapter and put more silencer on, on the front I suppose but uh, that's not too bad uh, nothing in it anyway so that is it you get more of a twang out of the uh, spring at the back there you do notice that more because your ears right next to it but it uh, hardly makes a difference so we'll uh, put that over the sound meter but the main reason behind this is to find out what the moderator is doing or the shroud for the uh, sound okay then here we go to uh, one shot zero it's in. That's the end of it. So uh, that's the sound and the view through the scope. There we go, that is uh, Cliff Kirkman's uh, calibre cricket which he uh, traded in with one of the members of the club, he had a he had a priest in the swap rifles, and they've hung on to what they've got. And like I say, this one shoots really sweet. Both happy with uh, what they've got. But there we go. Uh, Caliber gun cricket do quite a few rifles. They do bull pups and they do carbines and they do full rifles.
made in the Czech Republic, so all the barrels are CZ. And as we all know, CZ barrels are among the best Hammer Forge barrels in the world. And uh, can certainly keep up with uh, all the rifle barrel manufacturers anyway. So what I'm going to do next, I will chronograph the four pellets that I'll be using in my backyard 20 yard range test. When I've done that, I'll do the range tests and then the video after this, I'll be down at the range and uh, pushing the pellets up to 30, 40 and 50 yards, maybe further because it's so good. Uh, I'll also, in a future video, be showing you a bird's eye view through the digital scope. Now with these, they are digital. Uh, I'm not sure if the optical lens is on these or not. Probably not. I bet they're all digital anyway. This optical will be converted. So you're not going to get such clarity as what you would through a, your rifle scope. But the benefit of this one is that you can shoot at night. And that's what they were designed for. But they've also got the option to uh, record in the day. On the side they've got charging cover and a data cover for USB C looking at that and then next to that both behind rubberized covers to protect from rain they've got uh, an, uh, what was it called I forget what they're called now micro SD uh, card in it so there we go all the uh, things are on the top you've got your power to switch it on uh, they can adjust the, the type of reticle you've got. You can <clears throat> do one shot group and you'll fire a shot. You can, it'll cap, capture that shot and then you basically adjust it and so you get a one, old, uh, one shot group in. Uh, magnification on the side wheel there. And you've got uh, focusing on the front. Uh, normal parallax on the back I think that is but uh, yeah really nice scope uh, this is the one's got the laser range finder on it so uh, I think the, the scopes cost around eight, 800 quid plus and uh, by the time you've got your, your range finder added to it probably between 1000 and 1200 quid so expensive but you've got a lot of, lot of good stuff there uh, I mean when I after I came out of the parachute field helmets, I went into special forces and they was using night sights there. There was longer than this, bigger than this. And all you got was uh, for night sights uh, was uh, image intensifying. So it's a massive uh, front lens, you know, it had a little pinprick in the middle that you could uh, use it through daytime if you kept it on or you took it off at night time and all that light, it picked it up and enhanced it. So you just got like a grainy green and black picture. The quality on this is a lot better than that used to be. I mean, later on, well, within a few, uh, two or three years of joining Special Forces, got better sights, which is about this size, and there was a lot more improved. But this this quality of this scope is up with what Special Forces had in, in the late 1980s. Uh, after it came out of those went back to the parachute regiment and uh, they do start to get the smaller scopes when I was with them and that was about eight years after I'd been using them before so it was new to the new to the army then but they was just getting the smaller ones so God knows what they've got nowadays and they got thermal imaging but civilians have actually got access now to good night vision either with IR or thermal, which is the next generation of thermal. So it basically picks up the heat source. Uh, so they're good to use in the daytime as well, because you, if you can't see very well through uh, leaves and that, you can pick them out through the thermal. But uh, yeah, really nice sights. Love to have one, but so expensive. Uh, I think I'd be buried in the back garden if I went out and bought one of these. So there we go. So... Uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, 
chronograph the uh, rifle with the four pallets of choice and that will be the Acupel Terminator because we had such good luck with that the uh, JSB Heavies 10.34 and the Barracuda Match 10.65 10 I will at some point put through put some knockouts look through it as well uh, but uh, hopefully over the next week I'll give it some uh, good testing I have got uh, a few things to do this week so I'll do it as quick as I can but try and do it as uh, best I can so uh, up next is chronograph results then the scope weighs eight pounds two without the scope or the bipod so let's see what it weighs with it it's quite a heavy rifle for its size change the unit to pounds so with the scope and bipod it's coming at £12.3 that's added over £4 to it and most of that will be coming from the scope so the scope probably weighs £4 on its own so that is the weight of the rifle uh, even, even though even at £12 it's still well balanced it can be old rock steady so uh, that's where the compactness of the ball put comes into its own okay going to the information sheet for the 177 ball put shooting system multi shot cocking system side lever magazine capacity 14 shots gun stock synthetic with magazine holder additional cheap piece not included so the one in this rifle is an additional extra. Uh, the barrel is 17.7 inches long. It's choked and it's got 12 grooves with 17.7 .7 twist. Manometer, yes. Fill pressure 300 bar or 4,351 psi. Air capacity 280 cc's. Air cylinder is fixed. Charging. Is a quick charge system, scope, mount weaver rail, trigger adjustable trigger, safety manual trigger safety rotary style, overall length 26.8 inches or 680 millimeters and the weight of the rifle unscoped and without the bipod is 8.2 pounds or 3.7 kilograms. So that is the uh, Information sheet for the cricket standard ball pup in 177 car. Okay, then folks got the cricket in front of me now. Uh, I'm going to top it up. Simple process. Got a spring loaded cap here, just protector. Pull that out. Put the fill adapter in. 
and it can be filled up to 300 bar so you get plenty of shots from it so I've put about 245 bar in this one so it's plenty just bleed it off at the cylinder remove the cap and that's all there is to it so I've got four different pellets in front I've got the bag to match GSB heavies terminators and the articles <coughs> so to remove the magazine pull back on the lever pull back on the switch and that allows you to take the magazine out and pull it in either side right or left <coughs> made out of aluminium the cog wheel goes to the rear 14 shot and you just uh, Plenty of shock capacity in the 177. Uh, it comes in 177, 22, 25, and 30. So, obviously, depending on your calibre, it will mean a different amount of shots per film. But it's getting bigger and the uh, capacity gets smaller on the, on the uh, magazine. Uh, you're getting 14 from a 177 I should imagine you get 12 from a 22 10 from a 25 probably 7 from a 30 ok then so once that's done put the magazine back in put the lever forward the actual uh, loading bolt goes forward with it so got a target set up down there uh, I've put my own scape on at the moment until I get used to uh, the ATN night sight but I will be using that uh, just to uh, zero to and get some target work done I've put my own uh, Optizan scape on There. So, with the acupel, go for the centre zero target. So it's gone low and to the right. where this next one goes now because the side levers at the back it means either taking your hand off and doing it there or you can do it with your left hand like that it seems a bit easier to be honest okay through the same oven CZ power will say down to the isn't it? Can really dial this in.
one. Okay then, I'm going for it. And what I was doing, I think the cheek was still on the thing, so it weren't allowing it to rotate. Top or the left. Great guns coming from the eastern block. Just going through the same hole every time. I'm sure I'm sure there'd be a party today, like but it lights the actual bell. I've lost out on the pallets. So some miss and fuck. Next up, I'm going to use the uh, Terminators, which I had great success with. With the other rifles I shot through, it'll be right for a CZ barrel. Let's see why not. Now the rifle itself weighs over eight pounds. It, it don't really feel it until you put the ATN scape on, which weighs. Probably three or four pounds, so don't you know you're picking a rifle up. But uh, so far, it's gone. I fell in love with it already. Very, very accurate and uh, pointable. Center zero target. Didn't. Get that to me. Yeah. Okay then. Top right. Characteristic of this pellet is going to the to the left a bit, but it's still grouping. So you know the uh, hammer spring. And get it to right next to your ear on the. I don't know what it sounds from where you are. One old group all the time. We've come out with a Mark II now, so instead of coughing it from back here, it's down here. Which is a lot, uh, lot easier. how accurate this is, it's not bothering me. I think that's it. Yeah. The Terminators. One old grouping again. So next up. The JSBs. An overcast today, quite windy as well. But uh, really nice rifles. There's two uh, official retailers in the country. You've got Vector Air for Carl, which is uh, North Nottinghamshire, 
and you've got Lloyd from Blackpool Air Rifles and they uh, they're the main dealers for uh, calibre gun in this country and when they first came out Phil Crampton I believe uh, used to import them and he detuned them which was coming in FAC pack obviously he stopped doing that quite a while back now This might drop a bit across the way, 10 grains, so stand to target. I think it's roughly the same bit of the old. Right, bottom left. And I put this up against Daystate and FX. It's just as good as they offer accuracy. Surprised you don't see them in field target, going to field target more. So you won't need to spend the fortune lights. Some of the two and three grand rifles out there. That's it. Very nice. So the last one up Bennett's Barracuda match. It's normally a really nice uh, palette as well. So time I got through this there'll be 56 shots and obviously with a 300 bar fill you're probably going to get 200 shots from it I just don't know uh, I didn't see any on the information sheet how many you can shoot through it in sub 12 but uh, it's a decent sized deer cylinder I think It's all the way back to unlock, and it's down, and it's up and forward to fire. So when it's loaded, it goes down, and that's safety, I think. And then the next one, we'll let it rotate. So center zero. Dropped a bit more, but I'm gonna go through now. Bottom right. Yeah, dropping a bit more. It's the heaviest pallet. Uh, Cliff did have a, a priest rifle and he swapped with this for another member of the club. Both happy with what they've got. Both great rifles. I mean, I can see these being really tight groups out to 50 with this. Acupal and Terminators are probably on top, you see. The right you get might make a difference. Something I'll find out. The only downside is having to come back to it because you're off your target. That's why the new ones are down here. And I think you can change the uh, cocking lever over on. On the Mark Twos of these, you can you can change it for the left-hand shooters as well. Just 
two for the same old one. <laughs> That's it, fantastic. Really nice shooting rifle. It's at 20 yards. Probably the most accurate rifle I've shot. Uh, CZ barrels, I'm always impressed with those. Uh, the Air Arms S200, that's got one in it. Uh, some of the best barrels in the business, I'm a cold hammer forge. Uh, okay then. So, the next time you'll see this, we'll push that at the range. And let's put the uh, ATN scope on, you might have seen me do that. I may do some uh, backyard shooting with that so you get the bird's eye view. I may do some at night as well. So that will be on the ATN, but uh, so far in the practical test, so good.